The rabbit farming industry in Australia is a struggling one. Highly contagious diseases introduced to eradicate wild rabbits carried by insects can quickly wipe out entire farms, while others struggle to compete with the cheaper price of wild rabbits trapped and killed by hunters. Farmed meat rabbits spend their entire lives in wire cages suspended above the floor, unable to exhibit any natural behaviors like digging, hiding, or jumping. A buildup of feces on the floor beneath them creates high levels of ammonia. Female rabbits kept for breeding can be forced to live in these conditions for up to 56 weeks while they produce seven litters. Most of the rabbits, capable of living for eight to 12 years, are killed at 12 weeks old. Three to 4,000 rabbits are used for scientific research and testing each year in Australia, many of them coming from this facility in Victoria. Most fur products sold in Australia are imported from overseas, much of that harvested from rabbits. In 2015, clothing brand Akubra shut down their Australian operations and began importing rabbit fur from Europe. Australia also imports fur from China, the world's largest fur exporter. Of 10 rabbit fur farms visited by an undercover investigator, half engaged in the practice of plucking the fur from live rabbits, a process repeated every three months, between which the rabbits live in wire cages. Plucking results in longer, more profitable hair compared to shearing or clipping. As rabbits age, they grow less fur and ultimately are hung up in skin for a final harvesting, sometimes while still alive. Twelve rabbits are killed to make the felt for just one Akubra hat. Worldwide, over one billion rabbits are killed for their fur every year.